Witches. So today we're going to be discussing what exactly a Book of Shadows is. I, I know I mentioned in the previous video that I my goal for all of these is to kind of work through creating your own Book of Shadows and I mean I'll be working through this myself so by the end of the year um, my Book of Shadows is not gonna look as pristine as this I'm sure um, <laughs> but uh, I really just want to go into like what exactly is a Book of Shadows. So a Book of Shadows, a grimoire, um, it's often abbreviated as BOS. Um, so those are those are all places or a, it's like a collection of notes that a witch has. And the reason I say that that way is that there are a hundred and one ways to make a book of shadows. Um, I personally just like got a journal that I really liked that I was really drawn to. I really just love the simplicity of it. Um, and I like that it's, I don't know, I just really like it. It just, it was easy. I grabbed it, I was like, that's the one I want. Um, and rolled, like, rolled with it. Um, other witches make their own, that, like, if you're really crafty and really good about, like, paperwork, uh, paperwork, but, like, making paper, like, I've seen witches do that, or, like, tea dye their own paper, or just get, like, a spiral-bound notebook, a composition, literally anything. Um, the reason I didn't make my Book of Shadows, like, myself, I am pretty artsy, but, like, like I said before, if it's not like perfect, like I freak out, like just because I'm the biggest Virgo on this planet, apparently. Um, so I really liked just how clean and nice this was. Um, if you don't like to like physically write things down, I find that helps me a lot. It's just physically like taking it out of my brain and putting it into reality helps me. Um, if that's not your vibe or like just not really what you like to do, I know a lot of people who keep a digital one. So they have like a Google Doc or a Google Drive, whatever, um, or like just something on their phone that they can just pull out and be like, oh yeah, the correspondence is like, I'm at the witch store, I need to get what candles? And you have your list of the color correspondences or the herbal correspondences right there. So you don't have to like dig this around, dig around for this. Um, I carry mine with me sometimes, especially if I am going to go get supplies or stuff because I'll write out what I am intending to do. But anyway, truly your Book of Shadows is like completely up to you. It's completely personal. It's however you want to do it, right? So um, these videos are really just to help you fill up your book with notes um, and personal, like you can personalize it as much as possible. Like I'm not going to sit here and just be like, write down these correspondences. If you feel other things or if, you know, you want to add more to what I'm saying, that is like encouraged. Like I really encourage you to do research on your own um, as well as using hopefully my videos as a stepping stone um, to really like kind of focus in on what you're actually interested in. Um, but like my practice is my practice. It is not, I don't ever want to come across as saying like, this is an end all be all to magic because it's not. Um, it is very personal to me and what works for me may not work for you. So just so we're all clear, um, I, I just, you know, I don't want people to be like, you're gatekeeping because like, it's, it's just, it's crystals, bro. Like it's, it's shiny rocks. Like it's okay. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I don't really want people to be like, this is, you're gatekeeping. You're telling people that this is the only way to do it when that's really, that's not it. That ain't it. <laughs> Um, so for me personally, like I said, I fill up my journal, like my journal, my book of shadows, um, with like my thoughts, like, correspondences. Um, I also record a lot of my tarot readings. Um, and just so I can kind of remember and go back and say, oh yeah, what did I do on Samhain? Like, what did I do on Yule? And, um, I take images of, or take images, take pictures of my holiday altars and like write down feelings I have after certain workings. Um, and like the effects that I see from my spellcraft just, and anything really. Um, I also include, I also include a lot of images <laughs> that make me feel like good and spiritual and like relate to my deities, and my craft. So as I'm looking through it, I'm just like, ah, yeah, like it just, it puts me in that headspace to be working. Right. So I think that is also kind of cool. Um, and coming from an art background, I love a mood board. So, um, I really invite you to, you know, customize it and personalize it. Um, so for today, like your first little task, I guess, is to kind of like think about how you would like to keep your Book of Shadows over the next year. Um, I'm definitely going to run out of pages in this, so I will probably get a second one. Um, and when that happens, I will show you because I have an idea of like what I want because I want a specific journal. Um, but it may be that I need like another one in between. So we shall see. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, well, I... 
what I would do, like once you find your your chosen vessel for knowledge, um, I recommend like writing down kind of like an introduction, like introduce yourself to the universe. I mean, I know that sounds like really woo woo and really hokey, but like I said, writing things down or like typing it up and saying like, I am this, I am this, like I want to do this, like really just writing it down really helps me like focus. A really lovely and wonderful way to like look back and see how much you've grown over the past year. So the person that I am today, I probably will not be in a year. And I think that is um, very evident just based like to everybody, just based on like what 2020 has been, <laughs> which I hate to like bring that up, but you know, whatever. Um, but anyways, I would love to see pictures of your grimoire, grimoires, like even if it's just the outside, I don't need to see the inside. Like I know that's very personal, so I'm not asking you to be like, show me your secrets. Um, but if you end up posting images anywhere, I would always love to see it. Go ahead and tag me, um, you know, either if it's in a YouTube video that you're making or on any other social media platform, like I would super love to see it. And I am so excited for you guys to like start getting your, your supplies together. It's kind of like, it just, it always reminds me of like back to school shopping. So I'm like, yes, new things. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, we're going to scurry right along, get our book of shadows. And uh, tomorrow I'll talk to you about the difference between witches and Wiccans.